welcome to you all here today and those watching online via our live broadcast. Today is the 75th anniversary of BJ Day, a final end to the Second World War following the Japanese surrender. The date of 15th of August 1945 is highly significant to Haverhill and the surrounding villages as this was the day that 47 men were finally liberated after enduring three and a half years of captivity at the hands of the Japanese Imperial Army. We should also remember that some men with local connections served with the 14th Division, also known as the Forgotten Army, in Burma. In total, 69 local men had found themselves in Singapore in January 1942, the majority being with the four battalions from the Suffolk and Cambridgeshire Regiment that were part of the 18th Division. Of the 69, 22 did not return. During the fierce fighting that took place in the Malay Peninsula and on Singapore Island, before the surrender on 15th of February 1942, five local men lost their lives. A further 17 did not survive the harsh conditions in the prison camps, on the notorious railway, or in the hold of the hell ship Hofuku Maru. Today we remember them all. The men who returned and those whose final resting places many thousands of miles away from home in the Far East, be it in Thailand, Singapore or Java. Today, in this necessarily streamlined dedication, Haverhill Town Council has been joined by representatives of the Haverhill Family History Group, the Haverhill Thurlow District Branch of the Royal British Legion, the Friends of the Suffolk Regiment, the Cambridgeshire Branch of the Royal Anglian Regiment Association and the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. We are delighted that the family of Haverhill's last surviving Far East prisoner of war, Ernie Brent, sorry, Brett, who is now aged 101, are here on his behalf. I was particularly pleased to see the photographs this week of him with the folder of memories that Charmian and Brian Thompson had put so well together and him looking so well. We also welcome Royal Navy veteran Harry Bowdery who was serving on the aircraft carrier HMS Amir, who brought liberated men from Singapore to Trincomalee, the first leg of their repatriation after their capture in 1942. It is touching to see that Haverhill Rocks UK have painted a rock for each man who did not return from the Far East and who is commemorated thousands of miles from home. It is hoped that these will remain in place near the memorial. Thank you you all for attending today. We are grateful to the Haverhill Family History Group for contacting Bert Elston from the Royal British Legion Chonburi branch in Thailand. Bert, along with some members of the Kingdom of the Netherlands Am Embassy, organised commemorative services of remembrance at Don Rack and Chun Kai War Cemetery, which were held earlier today, during which they laid poppy crosses on the graves of six men from Haverhill. Unfortunately, COVID restrictions in Singapore and Java have meant that it has not been possible to replicate this tribute in those countries. I now invite Brian Mills, the chair of the Haverhill Thurlow District Branch of the Royal British Legion, to lead the commemoration, which will include a two minute silence. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, or the years come down. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
when you go home, pat along with us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today.